Ooh, hey Virgos, welcome to Swift Intuition. If this your first time on my channel, please like and subscribe. If it's not your first time on my channel, hey family, welcome back. I miss you. How's your day today? Yeah, I know, man. My shit been kind of crazy too. Anyway. Well, we want to dive in this energy. Before we get started, Heavenly Father, I want to say thank you right now for all of our precious, beautiful Virgos. Actually, give them the clarity they need in the situation that they're in. Heavenly Father, give them the mindset to receive this abundance that's coming their way, Heavenly Father. And we thank you right now for their strength. We thank you for their power. We thank you for their... For their, for their ideal to want to continually move on and move forward to greater things, no matter what, what, no matter what transpires in their life at this time. We thank you for their victory. Clarity, victory, healing is their portion. Amen. All right. So, Virgos, you already know we're going to start with these questions because we got to ask. Question, tell me what you think about me. It don't matter because I think I'm shit. And I know you may not agree, but it don't care because you don't exist. Question? Okay. <laughs> I know that was whack and corny, but it don't matter. It felt good saying it. Let's do some love and light. <laughs> okay. The first question we have for you is, what kinds of situations do I avoid? What does this uh, evasion say about my my previous experiences or beliefs okay what kinds of situations do i avoid and what does this uh invasion <laughs> why black can't read See, they start doing the curse y'all know i ain't got my glasses on anyway say about your previous experiences or beliefs so i feel like at this time virgo uh Spirit wants you to be aware of how you be curving situations. You know, it's like you avoid things because you can see it coming. You can see an issue coming before it gets to you. And right now you are, um, Spirit wants you to be more aware of that ability that you have to curve situations, to, to avoid uh, issues when you see them. And, uh, and I feel that spirit is saying that because there are going to be, uh, some things. Cause I feel like Virgos, you're, you're elevating right now. People are starting to see that you are, um, you're basically becoming what you said you were going to become. You had a lot of doubters and naysayers. And I feel like even dealing when it was dealing with things of the home, you still kept that strength. You still kept that, that ability to produce, to provide. And right now spirit is saying, uh, because you are elevating, there are going to be more issues that are trying to get your attention. And remember, whatever you feed your attention, get your power. Spirit say, Make sure that your your uh your energy blockers are up, you know, because people are gonna be trying to do little things to just steal that because they don't want you to to invest as much energy as it, as you've been investing into you and your projects. All right, then the next question is, what kinds of uh, reoccurring situations or people do I attract? What kinds of lessons might they have about myself? Okay, so right now, what kind of reoccurring situation? Spirit wants you to realize because. What they say, uh, insanity is doing the same thing, thinking you're going to get a, re a different result. So spirit wants you to know right now that you have to realize what it was that you were continually doing that was attracting the same type of people. And when you stop doing a particular thing, then those type of people will not be attracted to you. Like me, I was great at um attracting narcissists i was great at attracting users why because i was dealing with little daddy issues i had these abandonment issues going on so what was i doing i wanted to please you feel me trying to please people that didn't really have shit on my spirit or my character and because of that um, because of that neediness, I felt that I needed somebody around me. I felt that I needed, uh, someone to validate me. Then I allowed those situations to take place. Not just that, but I would not, uh, uh, I'll look over red flags. Like the motherfucker could slap me in the face and I still be like, where did it come from? Like I didn't see and my eyes was good back then. So anyway, so spirit is just saying, be aware of the things that are hidden within ourselves that allow people to come in and hurt us. The only reason why we allow them to come in and hurt us because we're still hurt and, and subconsciously because we've been programmed or we've been dealing with childhood traumas or, or, um, or, or, uh, generational curses that have been passed down that we were not acknowledging it. And once you acknowledge something, then you can heal it then you could deal with it because you have identified that there is a problem 
So Spirit says, identify what is the problem within yourself, Virgo, and then, then you can conquer the world. <laughs> okay. All right. So let's get to the messages. <laughs> Spirit messages, love and light. What is for our beautiful Virgos? Virgo, I love y'all. Y'all know I'm a Virgo. Uh, I'm a Scorpio sun, Virgo rising. Yeah. We in this thing. Messages of love and light. <laughs> messages of love and light. Ooh, I'm going to take both of them. So right now, Spirit is saying, we have the Emperor card. The Emperor card is you being in your power, holding your ground. The Emperor card is... Um, the emperor is a boss, got multiple uh, hats, have most of the jobs. The emperor ha has people that listen to them. And a lot of times, sometimes the emperor can be operating in their ego. But at this point right now, what kind of situation do you avoid? I feel like right now, because you are you are embodying the, the, this uh, emperor energy now, I feel like in the past, uh, you could have let your ego get to you. But then I also feel like people were trying to bring problems your way because they saw that you were this powerful figure. And it's like, because people feel like they were not going to be able to get on your level, they felt that they wanted you to come down to there. So they will be putting little petty pettiness. I don't feel a lot of petty energy around you, Virgos. I feel like somebody was doing little petty things so that you can come down off of your throne. The thing is, bitch, we don't come down off our throne for nobody, okay? We'll send somebody after you. So right now, that's how you're avoiding situations. Spirit say, how did you avoid situations in the past? You've seen it happening before it came to you. Why? Because you're at a higher plateau when you're higher than the minions but under you you you're able to pinpoint and spot what they're trying to do so spirit said right now stay in your power do not come off of your throne for some stuff that's happening in the past because this is some things that's happened in the past that you want to step down on to address but spirit say no don't do that don't do that you have people that are handle that for you recognize your power all right <clears throat> then the next card was the empress oh my gosh I just got chills, yo. We got the emperor and the empress that came out. This is like so powerful. This is like a divine flame, something. This is beautiful. This is beautiful. Okay, anyway, so this is like somebody that matches your energy. So right now I see this beautiful empress. Oh my gosh, she looks so beautiful. So there's this empress energy around you. This is some expansive energy. I feel like you were focusing on some things in the past and I feel like whoever your empress is, this could be your, your wife, this could be your counterpart. I feel like they're trying to nurture you to avoid particular situations that could occur. And it's like they are trying to, um, <clears throat> your empress is looking at you trying to calm you down. I feel like there's like two, like you're a power couple. You both are powerful in your own means. You you, you both uh, have the energies of, of powerful people um, and, and, and right now I feel like this empress right now is trying to help you keep it together. Cause I feel like something in the past is really triggering you. It could be, a people that, that just trying to get your attention. And, but right now, because this is a time of expansion and the thing is if the emperor and the empress is together, then that means there are powerful things that are happening. You're not, you're not just doing it by yourself. You're like a force. And <clears throat> right now spirit is saying, focus on nurturing your fruit. Focus on nurturing your progress. Focus on nurturing your home. Do not give your attention to things outside of you that's trying to distract you. They're only trying to distract you because they know they could never be where you are. And then we have the justice. God, dog and Virgo. We got all three. I only picked three cards. Major arcana cards. You hear me? That means this, whatever situation is happening, this is destined. That means this is a lesson that you probably need to learn to go to the next level because you already got your, your empress. You're the emperor. And then we have justice. It's going to work out in your favor. If this is dealing with family members uh, that are trying to uh, cause chaos between you and your, your, your family home, you have victory. They will fall short. And remember, focus on your desired outcomes. That's how you become a god. That's how you manifest. And uh virgo you're already you're almost there like you're at the top of the top you hear me you're the emperor you got your empress and then justice is here there's nothing that can go wrong with y'all two on the same accord you could things are changing justice is on your side so that's the reason why spirits say avoid petty conflict you know look you you ain't got to entertain there people try to get your attention you let them starve i'm not giving you shit i ain't even looking your way you hear something up? Oh, I'm Ray Charles to the bullshit. It what? 
I ain't even feeling for you. But anyway, all right, let me get two uh, Oracle cards and then we're going to go. But Virgo, let me just say this again. Do not come off your throne for nobody, especially people you know that do not even... Uh, can't even uh, understand your concept of thinking because they are so far gone. You know what I'm saying? Like you got people that want to know, got people that want to help themselves, and you got some people that just want to be where they are and want to cause problems. Don't let that be your problem. You are above that. Let them waddle around like they've been waddling. You got your queen with you. Y'all manifest some powerful things. And the thing is, spirit said justice is on your side. So I mean, some somebody's karma is coming back to them. And it's not on coming back towards you. So I feel like whatever this issue is that you may be trying to want to step down to address, spirit say, no, that's not your portion. You, you let them handle that. Okay? <laughs> Makes just love and life, my beautiful Virgos. Okay, so we have... <clears throat> Uh, receiving what you need, progression, arriving, moving on, closure issues. So I feel like this could be some people in your past, some people in your past that you want to address, tell them about some stuff, how they've been trying to handle you and stuff like that, but you don't even have to get off your, your boat, whatever, whatever needs to come. You're going to need what you're going to get, whatever you need, or they're going to get whatever they need, which is your silence or the back of your foot <laughs> or the back of your servant foot, whatever the hell you want to do. But I said, then we have a codependency, obsession, controlling blockage, uh, uh controlling possessive uh ob obsession okay so i feel like right now this could be somebody that you want to do with that 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 is uh i feel that you're moving your energy away and it's something about not being that not providing for them that they're getting in their feelings about something so they want to start a little chaos uh petty quarrels and and i feel like this is somebody that's close to your family because you are right by your empress so that means it's something dealing with the family i, I believe or, or it could be somebody that's close to you like family. And it's, and it's like they're codependent on, on you providing for them or some type of provision that you're doing for them. The reason why they are dragging their tail or, or the reason why they're trying to cause some type of chaos. But like I said, justice is yours. So you really don't have to do nothing but ignore their ass and watch your spirit guys handle that. <laughs> See, the best part about being spiritually covered, I don't even have to touch you. But I... My spirit guy's about to kick your ass and I'm just going to sit up there and just look. Hey, y'all ever seen Ghost? Y'all remember Ghost with, uh, I think it was Patrick Swayze and, uh, what's her name? Um, oh, no, um, uh, I can't even think of her name. Seal it from Color Purple. Oprah. Yeah. Was it Oprah? No, Whippy Goldberg. Y'all know my mind gone. But yeah, Whippy Goldberg. You remember Ghost? He was the way where he was like, eh, and it had the little demons in it. Okay, whatever. Okay, I'm done with y'all reading. But if y'all if y'all seen Ghost before, leave it in the comments. Say mercy. You ain't that old. I feel you. Just let me know. But anyway, right, girls, that's your reading. If anything resonated, like and subscribe. Hit that notification button. I want you to know I love y'all. Love yourself. And and just just to give you some old little tidbit maybe victory is yours <laughs> we don't have to address shit especially nobody that, that that's beneath us that ain't been doing the work they just trying to get your attention because whatever you focus on you giving them your power don't get them shit <laughs> bye babies <laughs>